Here, what about that bench there? Oh, jeez, I what forgot about that. What are you two doing up here? You don't live in this block. Are you visiting somebody? Is that compost? Will you be tidying that up? I hope you're going to move that bench. What is it you are doing? Yes. 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 And mind your own business, you nosy old cow. <laughs> oh, listen, it was a 60s fan. Right. Hold on. Here. Used to old duffers day nothing all day apart from watch the telly. What's the name of that horror film? 60s. Big fella. Nearly got Frankenstein. Attack of the lazy bastard barman. Asshole barman for the swamp. I married the dubber barman for the clansman. <laughs> <laughs> two pints. I don't know why I don't bar you two. That's because you fancy us, you big rooftop. That's right. And when you're all finished looking at our asses, could you get us with two pints, please, Bobby? <laughs> I don't know, Jack. See if I was 20 years younger. I would have butted that clown in the park right into the pond. Aye. I'd have stuck my horn right down that dog's throat and ripped this bastard lungs out of you. Easy, tiger. Who's getting it now? Ach, some asshole Ned lording it down that park. You one of them big devil dogs. Oh, aye. And what were you going to do, eh? Rip its lungs out, was it? If need be. Uh-huh. Aye. And what are you doing well? This carnage is going on. Giving the Ned a scheme booting, no doubt. Naturally. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to be ringside at that fight, eh? A pair of frail old men against a big handy bastard and his wayne eating dog. In my heart, I'd be rooting for my pals. But in my pocket would be a betting slip with Ned and Doug written on it. A couple of ages. Heart, bloody heart. Anyway, we're not going back into that park again. It's had it. Ah, you're quite right. I'll not be back either. What's with the plan? Let's just say that this here is the reason that we won't have to go back to that shitty park anymore. Oh, nice, Eric. A Pierre's Japonica. Low maintenance, very rewarding to look at. What's that you've got? This, Eric, is a eucalyptus tree. Nice scent. Aromatic. Forty feet in ten year unmaintained. Nice. <laughs> right, Percy Thrower. Spill it. I can he? Get it dealt. No, no, no. It'll be a nice surprise for you, that's all I'm saying. Eh? Look, yous live on the same landing as Isa, right? And Isa is the Daily Bugle, the Gestapo. Before long, she'd have you strapped to a chair, drilling your teeth, trying to get it out of you. <laughs> she can do that all day to me. I wear falsers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This is too big. She can't find out about it. Your, your information casualties. You'll just have to bide your time. So, oh. hello, Isa. Hello, Navid. There you are. So, tell us all the latest gossip from Runaboot. Bearing in mind, though, you have less than one minute because Colombo's gone to start. One minute? Right. All the hooses in Samson Court have to get double glazed for nothing because the council's dained them. No, that would suggest to me that my block might be next. But Jeannie Maguire says no to hold my breath because that's three years they've been waiting. That's Jeannie's boy working now. He didn't want the job, but she made him take it to pay for the damage in the laundromat. <laughs> Good news for the bookie's brother. He'll no lose his eye. He'll never look right the soul, but he'll get to keep it. And here, I caught Tam and Big Arthur up to no good the day in the foyer, lifting benches and plants and all sorts, having a clue what's going on there, Navid. But I'll fun it, because I know Winston's at the back, yet. Oh, and here, best for last, you mind old Ronnie, him that was on mastermind. Well, oh, here, there's your programme stair, Tam, a time. Oh, no, you're all right. There's only William Shatner, lot of shite. <laughs> so, old Ronnie, eh? What was his uh, chosen subject again? World War Two. He lost by one point because he passed in Bismarck. The most famous boat in the war. Did. He's in the loony bin. Huh? He was stripped down to his drawers, dancing away in George Square. Me and Sadie seen him. Oh, Jesus. That's a shame, eh? Another good customer down. 